Hi, welcome, this is Uli, and uh, welcome back to a new episode of uh, the Average Stencil videos. Um, today I'm doing the uh, perfect background or additional stencils. So you have uh, thorns, chains and barbed wire. Uh, each stencil is three, in three parts. And each set of barbed wire, um, chains and thorns have four different um, shapes. So I'm working on the red chromalux um, using black and white as uh, opaque colors and the rest of the colors are transparent. So I have laid down the first black and now I have to uh, fill in the gaps in the chain. So I put in the cover stencil and now I have to match the background color. So I'm using the uh, standard red. And they have like a cool shape of the uh, of the um, chain. If you want to do like a flying in fact, you can put, you can do the same with less opacity, and uh, put it a little bit on one side of the chain. So now comes the second step, which is a light grey. So I'm using the white and using less opacity and I'm doing now the full white highlights in the chain. And that's it. So now I'm doing the uh, barbed wire. Uh, same uh, working steps, so first a full black. And uh, if you have like a darker background, you can just put on the cover stencil of this, uh, the, the negative part of, of this stencil, and you can spray around it so you get like a little bit of an aura around it and then you can do the grey and the white so again I'm putting down the cover stencil so I can work on the gaps in the barbed wire And I'm filling in again the background color. On the right side of the um, of the uh, screen, you can see the variations. So, like the chains added to the skull in the barbed wire, and the, the variations of each uh, theme. So, chains, barbed wire, and thorns. <clears throat> now comes again the light gray with. The opaque white. So now there are the details in the in the barbed wire, and now come the highlight. And then I can do the thorns. So I designed this for my paint job. So this is like a perfect way to do some additional uh, details on a, on a finished painting, like a reaper or skulls. So now I'm doing the 
the drop shadow so I'm just moving the stance a little bit to one side and then I'm doing this with a little bit of black and there you have like wonderful effect like it's flying with the chain I'm just doing a um, a shadow that's nearer to the chain so you have like a different effect on height with the shadow so the thorns are the same except for there are no uh, middle parts so I can straight go to the grey and white again if you put it to one side you can add like a perfect uh, shadow to this and uh, depends on how you put the shadow that you get like like if you see in the bulb wire you get like a flying effect which is cool looking and it's so easy to make so this is a uh, gray for the thorns now comes the highlight And there you have it. So, adding a little bit of uh, structure to the to the shadow, and now it's finished. If you like it, you can subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up if if you liked it. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye.